Everyone, welcome to our uh, weekly prayers, uh, first in our prayer meeting. Uh, wonderful to uh, to have you uh, part of uh, tonight's prayer meeting, uh, as we remember those uh, amongst us in our community that um, that we pray for um, on a weekly basis, and um, it's uh, it really is a special, special moment to be able to. Uh, to pray for people and to remember people in prayer as uh, as a community. Um, and so I, I'm going to just read off a, a, a list of uh, those who um, who are who are um, uh, who are on our prayer list. And uh, obviously, I'll also give you an opportunity, um, obviously, at a time of silence later on in that, for you to uh, specifically remember uh, people. Um, that you'd like to pray for, maybe that aren't on, on our prayer list um, as it is. Um, I guess uh, part of today, which is an Im important uh, part of today uh, for, for us as a community, is... is uh, 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 hey, fellas, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Um, as part of us as a community, um, is obviously we remember today being Veterans Day, and... Um, uh, we remember all of those um, who have given their lives and who have sacrificed their lives, and uh, we just to remember those who have served. Um, but also, um, not only as we remember those who serve, I think, and I think, um, uh, I've always had issues with this. Audio. I apologise, yeah, everyone, if the audio is um, is low. Um, I hope that's a bit better. Um, I'm, I'm trying to fix it on my side. Um, but as we just as the keep today, and I, I went to uh, the Rotary uh, Club today, and there was a um, um, here in Camden, and there was a, a moment in which we uh, remembered veterans. Um, but also, you know, uh, my mind is also very aware <coughs> of the spouses, uh, the parents, uh, and the children of veterans who also, um, you know, sacrificially gave up their time. Uh, for those who served, and um, just we, we know how obviously how families are also affected um, um, today, as we as we remember veterans. For those who are mourning uh, lost ones, but also those who just um, even today are giving, uh, have given up, uh, you know, given up their spouses as they and their parents and their children as they've gone and served, um, and serving um, uh, as a veteran, and that also. Um, has an impact on it on families, and uh, I think it's also important, just as we remember veterans, uh, that we also remember uh, the family of the families of those who have served, as they have also, in in a way, um, also sacrificed um, so much, um, and and so we remember them. Um, so for today, in our prayers, uh, we remember those who are recovering, and we think about uh, Coffin Best. Margaret Charles, Buddy Clark, Johnny Fellers, uh, Art Graham, uh, Jean Holland, Anne Hutchins, Emily McGuinnett, uh, Francis Morris, uh, Pat uh, Parton, Ina Price, uh, Jan Tolford, Vernon and Jeanette Williams, and also Jane Weaver. Uh, those who are recovering at the Colonial um, at Old Camden is Jack Brantley, uh, those uh, in NHC uh, long term care, uh, I think of Foy Thompson. And then we also remember our members, uh, uh, Caroline Clark, Mike Clyburn, Julia Halford, Alison Kidd, Rose Parton, Joanne Poe, Stephen Poe, Wallace Reeves, and David Weaver. Uh, then uh, those in the military, Noah Cheek, Addison Harrelson, uh, Nicholas Baskin, and Zach Watson. Um, and then also Virginia Griffin. So I know that there are others, um, and we offer sympathy uh, and it might have been offered last week to Ray Robinson and the family on um, the loss of the brother Charles Robinson. So can we take a moment and uh, pray for those? And then, uh, as I said earlier, I'll give you a, a moment to, to pray for anyone that you may have on your um, heart um, uh, that, that is enlisted. And then we'll end off the time of prayer with praying for our veterans and their families. So let's pray together. Gracious God, we come to you remembering those whose names we have read uh, tonight as we remember um, your hand of healing and as we pray for your hand of healing upon all of those who we pray for tonight whose names we listed. Lord God, we know that you are the great healer and we know, Lord God, that you hear our prayers. So as we have prayed for each person, 
We pray, Lord God, that even now as we pray for them, as we continue to pray for them, but very specifically in this moment, we pray, God, that they would supernaturally feel your presence and be aware of your presence surrounding them, uh, with them, and Lord God, that you would, in only the way you can, Lord God, just warm their hearts, um, that there would be absolutely no doubt, Lord God, that you are with them. I pray, Lord God, that you would give them peace and the knowledge of your presence, the knowledge of your power. Lord God, we also want to bring to you uh, the names of uh, people who are on our hearts, Lord God, whose names haven't specifically been mentioned tonight. And so we take this time now in our own private prayers to you as we name before your throne those who we would want to pray for healing. Lord God, whether it be spiritual healing, emotional healing, or physical healing, hear our prayers as we pray to you now. God, today as we remember Veterans Day, we want to thank you, Lord God, for all of those who have served. We pray, God, that you would, um, that they would know, Lord God, how grateful um, we are for them and for their service, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, not only for them, that they would feel um, that 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 they are, and, what, and their service is uh, received with gratitude. But we also want to pray, Lord God, for their families, for spouses, for parents, for children, who have also, Lord God, given sacrificially to someone in their family that has served. Lord God, the time in which families have been apart for those who have lost loved ones. We pray, God, that you would comfort them above all that you would give them a deep sense of comfort and peace that passes all understanding and Lord God that, that, that they will also know that, they, that their sacrifice is appreciated Lord God we continue to pray for peace Lord God we continue to pray Lord God for those who have been affected by wars and Lord God, we would just want to come to you as the Prince of Peace and believe in our hearts, Lord God, that you would want us to be at peace. So Lord God, we pray then that we would be advocates of peace. That we would always search and seek for peace before war. And so Lord God, we bring before you all the nations around the world that are at war at the moment. Whether there be civil wars and unrest, wars, Lord God, in countries where there's genocide, Lord God, where there is brutality and rape, where people are being marginalized, we pray, Lord God, for peace. Peace, Lord God, that is possible. As we remember the command to love one another and to love our neighbor. And we pray, God, that we as Christ followers would be that light that shines in the world. That we would be able to go into places of darkness. And as we preach and as we speak the gospel of love, the good news. Lord God, we pray that we would remember that you bless the peacemakers. So God, thank you for our time to be able to pray together tonight. We believe in the power of prayer. We believe that you have heard our prayers. And even now, you have begun to answer them. So Lord God, for being able 
able to access you through prayer. That we can have conversations with you as easy as this. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, God, that you are a deity who is far away and out of touch with those who follow you. And very much that you are part of our lives. So we thank you for Jesus, in whose name we pray this prayer. Amen. Friends, thank you so much for being here tonight uh, during this time of prayer. My, may God bless you and may you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. God bless you. See you on Sunday. I look forward to, to being with you on Sunday morning. God bless you.